Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cloxon, and today we're going to talk about the art of perspective. So, but before we get into that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a lot of new things coming out. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but trust me, there are reasons. I'm working in the background, you know, getting this stuff set up. Um, the channel's been growing, the community's growing well, so it's a lot of new things coming up, but I can't say everything because I believe in divine timing, so everything's supposed to happen when it happens so um yeah y'all just gotta wait for it <clears throat> but i want to let y'all know it's a lot of new things coming you know what i'm saying new collaborations good stuff is coming all right but um without further ado let's get straight to the video okay so the art of perspective y'all watch my other art videos you gotta understand the premise of these type of videos i just dissect the one word and the meaning behind it and why you should want to use it or not use it all right so this one is about perspective i love this because i i say that this word almost every day perspective, right? Because people love to push certain narratives and opinions on you and it's just their perspective. It's not really fact. So let's break it down. What is a perspective? A perspective is a particular point of view, okay? Meaning there are multiple perspectives, you know what I'm saying? So it's not just one perspective that everyone believes in. Okay, a perspective is just this angle. That angle is, perspective is dealing with shapes and angles, you know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said before, perspective doesn't mean it's absolute fact. It's just someone's personal, unique point of view. So my perspective means this. This person's perspective might mean this. All right. So you want to um, practice um, increasing your own perspective on certain things. And don't just generalize things because everyone else is doing it and hop on the bandwagon. You don't want to do that. All right. So you want to be able to look at multiple perspectives see other people's perspectives and identify with that, all right? It's very important. So, uh, let's go down some of the basics of perspectives. Your perspectives of other people, that's really important because that controls how you interact with them because you guys don't, you don't interact with everybody the same, do you? Why? It's because you are you have a different perspective of that person. So, you're not going to say certain things, you're going to act a certain way because of your perspective of that person. So it's really important to analyze why you perceive that person that particular way. Is it because of what they say, what they do, um, how they do things? Just analyze all those things before you just place like a sticker on somebody like, okay, that, that person. Before you do that, really analyze so you can um, have a better understanding of the power of perspective. Because once you lock that perspective on something, anything and everything you do is going to be because of the perspective you put. So it's important to slow down first and analyze first before you just be like, okay, boom, that's that. I'm going to put a sticker on that and that's, okay, gotcha. No, you don't want to always do that. It's important to do that on certain things, but not always. That, that, that process right there takes time. So, yeah, you want to control the perspective you put on others. And then you want to look at the perspectives that people give on you. So you can kind of tell when you're talking to somebody, they might say certain things that don't really sound right, but it's because you might have said something earlier to somebody else and they were listening and they automatically put a perspective on you. So you can kind of sense when other people think of you a certain way, whether it's true or false, it's their perspective of you. And it's really important to understand and identify with that instead of arguing with them, just be like, oh, okay, you think uh, you see me that way? It's all okay. Even if it's not true, it's fine. You don't have to argue. You don't always have to even explain why that's not true. You just be like, you're just cool in here. So it's all about being good in here. So if you know that they think of you that way, don't think of it as a bad thing. It's just their perspective of you. They might, they might not personally know you. So just don't always attack as, oh, this person's me. No, it's just that's the perspective they have of you. Just be aware though. It's always important to be aware. All right. Um, and then lastly, you want to be able to control the perspective. So to control the perspective, of the people around you see you as very important. Um, especially when you, uh, increase in knowledge people are going to start looking at you a certain ways like for me you guys might think i'm super smart right now because i have a suit on but that doesn't necessarily mean the case you know because everyone with a suit isn't smart you know what i'm saying so but they know that people think that so they wear a suit that's controlling your perspective if you know the general population thinks people with suits are smart someone who wants to be perceived as smart is going to put a suit on because they want to control the perspective so it's really important to be able to control your perspective say certain things or wear certain things if you want to give off a certain type of vibe you know what i'm saying so don't just do i mean it's obviously good to not you know be a people pleaser and just you know do anything everyone else wants because you want to be unique but for certain situations just it's really powerful to learn how to like 
step into one shoe and then step into another shoe for a certain outcome. That's a really powerful type thing uh, that you guys want to learn, all right, and practice. So, and then um, people might ask, okay, how do you do that? How do you change the personal perspective of people around you or anything you look at? Like, for example, it could be um, a video game, for example, like, you know, the old folks say, oh, video games are all bad. That's their perspective of a video game. My perspective of video games isn't terrible at all. You know what I'm saying? So, because of my experience with it and what I see the benefits of, right? So, how do you change your perspective regarding anything? You have to change your mindset first. You have to have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. Because when you have a fixed mindset, nothing can change it no matter what no one else says. It's rock solid. That's it. You have a blank, boom, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't want to have that type of mindset when it comes to anything in life. You want to have a growth mindset. You want to always think there's more I can learn, you know what I'm saying, and add on to to change my, my perspective. You'd be like, okay, you know what? Now with new information, I, I think differently. That's really important. And most people don't have that, but it's really important to have that. You want to have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. So when you have the growth mindset, <clears throat> you're allowed to... Um, I mean, mean allow, I mean your body, because your body is only going to do what it's capable of, and it only allows you to do certain things because of what you have, okay? So, when you have a growth mindset, you're allowed to <clears throat> um, exercise your perspectives into, like, multiple ways. Like, for example, me, I look at things from, like, 10 different angles before I make a decision, you know what I'm saying? So, that's because I have a growth mindset. I'm not the smartest man in the room. I'm not a guru, none of that. I just like to learn from people. So, but because of that, I can learn and then look at their perspective, look at this person's perspective, my own perspective, and then change my perspective based on what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's really important. And those, that's pretty much the art of perspective. You want to master that. And when you master that, man, you're gonna be a, you're gonna be a whole new person. People are like, whoa, who are you? That's it's because you've mastered the art of perspective. So, like I said, we're gonna uh, go over the main three again. The definition of perspective, okay which is multiple angles, all right? And that the perspective is not a fact, okay? So get that straight. Perspective is not a fact. It's just someone's opinion and perspective. The way people see you, their perspective, and then the way you see other people. And also, I want to add on, is the way you see yourself. The perspective you have of yourself is very important because before you have a perspective of someone else, it's going to start from how you see yourself. You know, do you see yourself as a super intellect scanning people? Or do, you, do you see yourself as someone who's just so dumb and, oh, I'm going to let everyone else take care? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's always how you see yourself. If you see yourself a certain way, that's going to reflect how you treat other people and everything else. So, yeah. Focus on those and... You should be good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos like this. The art of. I love breaking down certain words and whatnot. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram, um, Twitter, and whatnot. And the YouTube channel as well. I'll be uploading a lot more content more frequently. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.